Hello, I'm Darren Wood and I'm going to show you how to record clean and perfect audio for your videos. It's very important you get a clean audio because we really want to listen to what the person's talking, we want to hear their story. We've used three setups here, we've used an iPad, a digital SLR and also a regular video camera. The iPad has got a built-in microphone. We can't actually physically plug a microphone into that, so we're some distance away from the microphone already. So that's not going to be very clear for us listening back to the person speaking. The second one was the digital SLR, and that had the same problem. Even though some digital SLRs, you can plug in a microphone, you also need to be able to plug in some headphones to be able to monitor back to hear what's going on. With our digital SLR camera, we could plug in a microphone, but it was a consumer microphone that wasn't very good quality and we couldn't monitor back listening to it with a pair of headphones because there was no headphone socket. So what we ended up using to compensate for that was a, a zoom recorder. Our video camera could plug a decent quality professional microphone into that one and we could also monitor with the headphones. So how did we, how did we do our setup? How did we make it work? With the zoom recorder we can plug in an external microphone into the bottom, set our record level and capture the sound close up externally and then later on match the audio from the zoom and get it in time with the audio picked up from the internal microphone on the iPad or the digital SLR. And using hit films we could line that up and then take away the camera's audio and we have the clear sound then from the zoom recorder. So let's concentrate on getting a good recording level into our equipment. So whether you're using the internal audio settings on our video camera or whether you're using the zoom, it's the same technique. What we're looking for, we're looking for a clean audio signal without what we call clipping or distorting the sound. And that's at one end of the scale and at the other end we don't want it to be too quiet neither, so if it's too quiet we're not going to be able to hear what's happening and when we edit the video we'll have to boost up all the audio and all the noise that comes with it, which we don't want to do that. So what we really need to do is set an optimum record level that we know is going to be good for a nice clean sound. As you can see I'm, I'm using what we call a lavier microphone or a lapel or tie clip microphone. As you see I've got it clipped onto my shirt at the minute. Now some microphones only pick up in one direction, you can see my microphone is pointing down but this microphone picks up all the way around. So it's not just picking up from the bottom, it's picking up from the top. So it means you can place the microphone in any direction you like and you'll still get an even sound so when people move off the mic a little bit it doesn't turn the volume down because you're further away. Now with, with a, a tie clip microphone it's very easy to use. I would get hold of the XLR end of the cable, stick it down my shirt, pull it through and it would come out the bottom and then I would clip that inside. It's better if you have the microphone facing downwards and then if someone just move down and talk, they're not blowing over the top of the microphone. But if you can't position it downwards, you just have to make sure you're listening carefully on your headphones. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you on the zoom recorder how we do that. So the first thing we do, we turn it on obviously, and when it's on we get a, a display on the screen here, and on the screen when we record, which I'll just set that into record ready, you can probably see some bars going up and down as I talk. And what we're aiming for, we're aiming for three quarters of the way across on the screen. And that way we'll get a nice record level. If it hits all the way to the right it's going to clip and distort and we don't want that. So to solve that problem, if we look on the side of the zoom recorder we've got a record level. So what we need to do is turn that down, probably quite a bit at this stage, and if, I, if you watch when I talk now, the signal shouldn't be going all the way to the right. But we need to listen to it as well to make sure that there's no external sounds happening. So make sure you plug in your set of headphones and put them on. So now we can listen to the environment sound, we can listen to the sound through the microphone, and if any, any sort of 
noises that distract the story happen too many times, we may need to pause for a little while until that's stopped then carry on the interview. The best idea would be if you've got enough money to buy a lapel lavier microphone uh, and have a camera that you can plug it straight into. Now we know that not everyone's going to be able to do that. Now, so you've got the choice, do you, if you're using an iPad, can you get away with the sound from the iPad? Well, maybe that's all you've got, so you'll, you'll have to do that. Uh, but to improve your sound, if you've got an external recorder and you can't afford a tight clip microphone, maybe you might have or borrow a plug-in microphone from somebody else. And if you can have a stand, maybe position it above the head, but out of shot and that will pick up the sound closer than having a microphone that's further away from the camera.